Good morning, everybody. It is time to make apple butter. All right, so I have all my apples cut. This is 18 apples in here, so to fill up my crock pot. Um, now the recipe normally calls for um, about 12 apples, six cups, but I filled it up. And um, these are really sweet apples, so I'm not gonna double any of the spices, um, but it's gonna be just great like this um, with these apples. And I've got some uh, Maggie Bowman apples, there's some um, Golden Delights and one other kind of apple. I'm not sure, but I'll put it um, right down below. You can see it right there. I have to ask my sister what the other kind was. So anyway, I've um, got them all cored, peeled, um, partially peeled. My peeler, um, I need to adjust the blade on it. But anyway, this the um, skins that's left on them will cook down. Um, so... It shouldn't be any problem after um, they cook down and I blend it. It'll leave a little bit of pectin in it, so it helps solidify a little bit the, um, the consistency. All right, now to these apples, I'm going to add in a quarter of cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of white granulated sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, you can put it all in uh, as white sugar or vice versa. Um, so sugar content is... Um, half a cup so quarter cup of each is what I use. I also do two teaspoons of ground cinnamon a teaspoon of vanilla extract half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg and then a half a teaspoon of ground cloves and a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger so let me get all those added and I'll be right back. Now if you don't like all these spices in it and you can omit one or two that's not, you know, I know some people have a problem with, you know, the nutmeg. They don't, just doesn't like it too well. Um, so if, um, if you want, that's one, I like, I like um, vanilla. But you can also add your favorite spirits like you know, a couple um, teaspoon, uh, tablespoons of um, uh, rum or bourbon would be good in here too. Um, so if you want to just do cinnamon in it, it's great. Um, just with cinnamon. But you, like I said, I'm putting in ginger cloves and nutmeg too. So here, let me get it all mixed up for you. All right, it's all mixed up and I have my crock pot actually on a... Um, on a piece of cardboard here on my kitchen counter. But I've got it on low, and I am going to cover this, and it's going to take about 10 hours, so um, it's in the afternoon right now, so I'm going to let it cook all night and let all these pieces cook down and together. I uh, will come back and show you what it looks like. One other thing, I forgot to tell you to put in a half a teaspoon of kosher sea salt. So that's and I just added that I have forgotten about it but it's in there now I had it sitting out here on the counter and forgot all right let's check out this um, apple butter it's been going all night oh well shouldn't say all night I cut it off around midnight turned it back on about six so let's see how it is there we go Isn't that nice it's cooked down really good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in the um, going to let it cool off just a little bit and I'm going to stick it in a blender if you have a stick blender it will work great you can do it right into this bowl and you don't have to worry about cooling it off before you put it in your blender putting in the blender you're going to have a lot of steam in there so just be careful with that That's all it should take. Yep, that looks good. I just gotta watch that bleed. All 
All right, I have the uh, jars heating up in the oven. They've been cleaned and I'm sterilizing them at 250 for, I'm doing it for 25 minutes. Normally it's 20 minutes, but I like to go the extra five minutes. Um, let's see, there we go. Now like at this consistency, um, sometimes I do it a little bit thinner, um, but I'm gonna give this away um, some as gifts for Christmas and um, I do have a few jars from a previous batch that um, I did thinner because I'm going to use that in cakes and stuff like that. Alright, so while I get my hot water boiling, I'll be ready to jar this up in just a few minutes. Alright, this is the second batch of um, half pint jars um, in the water bath canner, bringing it up to boil and then I will process them for 10 minutes. Okay, so I am done with the apple butter. And um, so the recipe that I'm gonna put down below will give you approximately four pints. So as you can see, I've done, so I've done a total of 20 half pints, uh, two pints and a pint and a half. Now there was another um, pint jar that um, let me should come bring you over here uh, when I was processing it it uh, the bottom broke off so I need to deal with this mess um, it's getting cool cooler now you can might see that no, you can't see it down the bottom but I lost all the product and the jar so um, again so I'm not counting that but all right so when processing those last jars and I had the, the one um, break these three did not um, process fully, so they're, the tops are not um, down yet. So I'll probably have to reprocess these. But there you have it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.